up everybody welcome back to pens and tea my name is carrie and today i just got back from grocery shopping so i'm a little red in the face <laughs> but i mean what else is new if you think about it um today i got a delivery special delivery <laughs> uh, i placed an order at wonder pens i've paid for all of this with my own money um and i wanted to share with you what i have uh, so that you can look forward to reviews and all the goodies because i mean who doesn't like to share goodies right am i right um so i took the box uh apart already because it is recycling day and i wanted to make sure that that was going to make the recycling but i have not gone through anything else i just took everything like the main thing out of the box and I'm gonna go through everything else with you. So what was on top? Well, this little white rabbit candy. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna assume it's like toffee of some sort. Um, but yeah, so that'll be interesting to see what that's like. Um, like I said, and repeatedly, Wonder Pens, Toronto, low key, love it. Uh, main shop at 52 Clinton Street, uh, Toronto. Uh, studio shop at 290 Gerard Street, East Toronto. Uh, this is the postcard that I got with it. Um, you get a random one every time. And it's sort of become a Wonder Pens, like, sort of treasure hunt to see if you can get one with chicken on it. Uh, their cat, who looks like a much trimmer Parker. Um, so I'm kind of jealous that they can keep her, him, trim. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to start off with a pen that was never on my radar. It was about 10 bucks and it's a Faber-Castell pen. And it's this one. This one I think is stuff that you can even buy like in a in like a local craft store. It's their student pen or school pen. Um comes with some cartridges here. Kind of looks like a Lamy to be honest. But I thought it'd be interesting to test it out, see what it's like. Um it even has like the triangular grip like Lamy, so you know, you, you just gotta stay curious. <laughs> and then I bought another pen that is a very familiar pen that I had about three of, three or four of uh, at one point. But then I sold them all and I kind of regret it. So I've repurchased it. It's a pen from Pilot and it's a very familiar pen. The very first fountain pen I ever purchased. Okay, Parker. The Pilot Metropolitan. Uh, so this one is the gray version um, with like their new retro pop series. Um, the one that I originally purchased was just silver, like way, way, way long ago. Um, so I'm interested to have that one. But yeah, I, I sold them and I kind of regret it. I miss having like the Pilot Metro. It's a solid pen. Uh, and then I bought another pen, which you guys are going to be like, oh my god, Carrie, stop. Stop trying. <laughs> I bought another Twisby, folks. I bought another Twisby. And here's why. Okay, I bought the Eco Tea. So the Twisby Eco, the regular Eco, was the only Twisby pen that I actually didn't completely hate. <laughs> Um, as far as the way that it wrote, I cannot get this open. Oh, it's cause it's taped. Um, it was the only Twisby pen that I didn't completely dislike. Um, and I thought I would do the Twisby Eco T because that also has a triangular grip like the Faber-Castell and the, oh my God, there's plastic on this side too. Good grief. Uh, and the Lamy Safari. So the idea was to review, obviously, these two pens, and I've done the Safari millions of times individually, and then to compare them, uh, the three pens, and see, like, kind of who reigns supreme of the triangular grip. Um, and I just bought the clear demo version. So I'm kind of excited for that. Um, of course, it comes with all the, all the goodies. So that is upcoming in yo future. And then I bought some inks, uh, even though I said I would not. <laughs> so I bought a sample of Gerbin or Urban. I can't remember which one is which now. I think they've dropped the J. 
and their main line is just Urban now. And then Jacques Urban is like their main, like expensive fancy line, I think. Um, but this one's still labeled J, so I'm gonna go with it. Um, Poussier de Lune. Uh, and if you stay tuned till the end, I will show you all of these inks um, once they've dried on Tom White River paper. Um, the reason why I got this one, and I, I think I've tried this like a million years ago, but I don't remember. The reason why I got this one is because I was watching um, the Goulet podcast and they've talked about this now many, many times. And I just said, fine boys, I will do it. <laughs> Um, so I picked it up and I'm excited. I'm probably going to put that in my Metro, to be honest. Um, and then I got, uh, two bottles, which is also something I said I wasn't going to do, <laughs> but I got this ink because it was like one of their, so Wonder Pens does like these weekly deals where every Thursday, um, new stuff is on for like a pretty good sale. Um, so like this ink is usually 40 Canadian roughly. I can't quite remember, uh, but it was on for 20 something Canadian. So I did it. I've used a sample before and I liked it. It is the, um, uh, Kyoto Kiro Iro series. And I believe this is, it's nowhere in English on, on the box. So I think this is the Moonlight in Hi Hiroshima or something like that, uh, is the English title. Um, but it's a, an orange, a little bit of a dusty orange color. Um, yeah, you can't really tell, but I'll, I'll do swabs for you. Um, so it's sort of like Poussier de Lune where, uh, or yeah, Poussier de Lune where um, it's like a dusty purple. This is sort of a dusty orange. <laughs> um, and then I bought another ink and the reason why I bought this one is because this is a Wonder Pens exclusive. You can only buy it through them and it's a brown ink. I had to. I held off as long as I could, but I just couldn't anymore. So Wonder Pens collaborated with Ferris Wheel Press and this is a gorgeous box. I'm going to keep this box. I typically don't keep any boxes, pen boxes, um, ink boxes, nothing because my ink is stored in a, in a drawer. So it's like, it's not getting sunlight. It's not way back in the old school days when I used to have them like, you know, behind me as decoration. Um, but I'm going to keep this box because I love it. Um, so basically like Clinton street where they're at, this is actually their storefront. Um, of course the Ferris uh, wheel press pen, some of their merch, all of their merch on the back. Um, sorry, Parker's distracting me says, together with Toronto Stationery Boutique Wonder Pens, established 2013, a memorable hometown collaboration is born. Delivering a sheening medium brown ink that is compatible with all fountain pens and dip pens, please enjoy it creatively. And then it has a little Canadian flag. Curious collaboration series, fall in love with writing again. So it's a 38 mil bottle and I just, I just adore this box. It is just so stunning. Um, but anyways, let's open it up. Um, I also like the way that the box feels. It's like almost slightly waxy. Uh, oh, you have to take the whole thing out. <laughs> and then it's empty box. And then you have the bottle itself. The bottle's super cute. It's a little smaller than I was expecting, but I don't know why because 38 mils is not that much. They do make like the big honking balls, um, but that's too much ink. Um, so on the back, it says writing desk, which you can't really see, but that's what the ink is called. And then on the front, Ferris wheel press. And this is a really cute glass bottle. I would say that this is up there with um, Pilot Yoroshizuku series uh, for being super cute. And I like the little like metal knob here on the top. Oh, it's sealed. It's got a little rubber, rubber gasket. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep that or not, but for right now, I will. Um, if any of you have ever used Ferris wheel press ink, are you supposed to keep that rubber seal thing on top? I don't know. Kind of looks, it almost looks like Cher Bon, uh, Lee Dete in this lighting on my camera, but it's, it's definitely a rich brown that I can see and it got on my nail. <laughs> um, I'm going to need a Q-tip to pop that rubber thing back in because I don't know if I'm supposed to keep it or if I'm supposed to like get rid of it. Is that just like a, is that just like, like a traveling thing? I've never owned a Ferris wheel press, um, bottle before. I've used pretty much every one of their colors in samples. 
um, but I've never actually owned one of their bottles. So curious and curious. So let me know in the comment section down below. Put that one back in the box, which I don't know why I did because I'm going to swap them for you, but whatever. And then the last thing I got is sort of a collection of things. And that is some paper. <laughs> um, so it's premium paper. Find your pen friendly paper. Uh, Yamamoto paper, fountain pen friendly paper collection. So there's 18 different types of paper, <laughs> um, ranging from the Tomoe River paper that we're used to. So the 52, uh, and I think there's the 68 or something as well, but there's a whole whack ton of different fountain pen friendly papers. One of which includes the Cosmo Air Light, which everyone is saying is what they think, or at least from what I've heard, is what they think is going to replace Tomoe when eventually that goes away. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm obsessed with Tomoe. Let's do um, a deep dive. Whoa! Parker pooped. <laughs> it stinks. The litter box is like right there, and the litter takes like a couple minutes for it to like soak up the smell when it when it's fresh. Um, so that's that's a thing. Um, but yeah, so you get, uh, I think five sheets of each uh, kind so that you can try it out. And then Wonder Pen sells uh, most of these as like individual books or packets or whatever. Um, so I thought I'd give it a shot, see which one I prefer. Obviously I can't pick the Tumway River paper because duh. Um, but I thought I'd give it a shot and let me know if you are interested in this. Um, this is not new. This has been around for a little while. So there are reviews of this already. Um, much deeper reviews than I would do to be real and honest with you all. Um, so just throwing it out there. Uh, if I do a review, it wouldn't be like, you know, super, super, super detailed. It would just be my general thoughts. Um, but so yeah, there's the paper potentially if you want me to do it. I will definitely do a review individually of the school pen and the eco tea. And then like I said, spoiler, my plan is to combine the, these with the um, Lamy Safari and do that. Um, I can do an updated with the Pilot Metro if you guys want, um, but I've done a, a bunch of reviews with, with that already. Um, so it's up to you. And then yeah, just uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around for a minute, AKA, you are going to get the pleasure of time travel and be able to see these ink swabs when they're dry. I have to now swab them <laughs> and test them out. So see you in a half a millisecond for you. Okay, so quick disclaimer. Uh, I, not all the colors are super, super color accurate. I would say the Poussière de Lune, Bergère Bain, is pretty close. It's slightly, slightly, slightly deeper in real life, um, but pretty actually close for this one. Um, so darker, super wet pen, kind of dusty purple. Um, the Kyoto Kiro Iro uh, is definitely not like this orange in real life. It's a little bit paler. It's a little bit dustier, sort of like a dusty purple, but now it's a dusty orange. Um, the top color, the super deep color is kind of accurate, but it's a little bit more rich in real life. Um, but the bottom swab is uh, lighter, a bit dustier. And then the Ferris wheel writing desk, uh, not really accurate at all. <laughs> this is why I don't do ink reviews, everybody, because I don't know how to color accurate, make anything color accurate. Um, the little green sheen that you can kind of see here, that is definitely accurate. And it is a dark, rich brown at the top. Um, but the single pass here uh, on the camera is a little more yellow than what it is in real life. Uh, in real life, it's more of like a a bit of a paler brown, um, but it, it's more of a cool brown than a warm brown. So these are the three inks that I got today. And then if you're wondering what all this mess is, I just felt like the other day swabbing uh, my Mont Blanc inks. And I, I don't know why. I just, I just had the desire. So I did. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I appreciate you all for watching. Um, if you're still watching, hit this like video. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see first. Um, 
in case you're wondering what this notebook is, it's the Galen leather. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday. And my um, pen ink combo book series thing comes out on Tuesday. Um, and yeah, if you're still watching this far in, you're the reason why I make these videos. And I appreciate you. I'm going to go play with Parker. And uh, have a good day. Bye.